The next time someone claims that they are upset because Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers makes too many Captain Marvel videos, or Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers makes too many anti-Star Wars videos, or Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, he just can't stop complaining about Disney, or this or that, I want you to remember this story right here, because this proves how dumb they are and how they don't deserve the benefit of the doubt. And I will never give them the benefit of the doubt. They got the benefit of the doubt from me one time. And I will never do that again. When they purchased Star Wars, I gave them more than the benefit of the doubt. I gave Kathleen Kennedy the benefit of the doubt. I gave everything involved with Lucasfilm the benefit of the doubt. Because I believed that they were going to do right by George Lucas and they proved me wrong. But here we are now, after all of the... Arguing online, the divided nature of Star Wars fandom, the divisiveness, the toxicity, we finally get something. We finally get something that the heavy, heavy majority of Star Wars fans either like or love, and that is Baby Yoda. Even though, even though Bob Iger claimed that there was Star Wars fatigue, and that's why nobody went to see Solo. That's why nobody was buying the toys. That's why... The uh, Last Jedi made, what, like $700 million less than The Force Awakens. Or maybe, Bob, like I've been saying from the start, maybe it was because the Star Wars that you were producing was shitty. Because Baby Yoda has taken over the internet. And The Mandalorian, while I don't think anybody's saying it's the greatest thing ever, The Mandalorian seems to be pleasing the majority of the Star Wars fan base. But Baby Yoda specifically has become... The biggest thing on the internet, and rightfully so, Baby Yoda is adorable, and I love it, and so many other fans love it. So what does Disney do when they see that the fans are happy, the fans are going crazy, there's enthusiasm, there's excitement, there's celebration? They do something this stupid. Proving that I don't care about their feelings. I will make as many Disney videos as I want, criticizing them as much as I want because of stupidity like this. So if you have a problem because Geek Man Bad from Geeks Plus Gamers said something that hurts your feelings or he makes too many videos, just remember this story. Baby Yoda gifts removed over Disney copyright issues. Leave our precious, powerful alien infant alone. Not only has Star Wars The Mandalorian captivated fans with its sweet space western vibe, but the show's brutally, uh, bru uh, brutally adorable breakout character Baby Yoda has become the internet's prized meme-able gif-able possession. Um, not only do fans create their own gifts from the series to share on social media, but publications do as well for the purposes of recaps, reviews, uh, and pieces involving deep dives into theories and lore. Disney, however, has pulled the plug on some of these gifts uh, as noted by Vulture critic Catherine Van Randonk. Uh, Want to know something very dumb? All of it, Vulture's uh, did I say venture? All of Vulture's Baby Yoda gifts have been removed by co for copyright reasons. Unbelievable. Vulture regularly posts pieces that feature a particular uh, TV episode, essential gifts. Apparently, whatever they posted uh, for The Mandalorian was no longer useful because Disney had all the Baby Yoda gifts stricken from the gift collection creation site. What? Citing this Ford, Forbes article about animated gifts and legal use, uh, they are considered fair game. Meanwhile, this is literally the example uh, in this Forbes piece about gifts and copyright law. Uh, the article states, according to Jeff John Roberts of Fortune, gifts can be considered transformative under copyright law because they do not undermine the market for the original work. Not, uh, no one, for instance, is going to watch a Star Wars gift instead of the original movie. Exactly. Um... Wow, is that all they're going to give us? Um, yeah, there it is. Disney finally makes something Star Wars related that doesn't suck, and of course they have to go and piss off the fans some other way. Yes, that is my point. So, again, I don't care about Disney's feelings. I don't care about, I've made too many Captain Marvel videos. I don't care about any of that shit. And if you are sitting there screaming about me making too many 
uh, videos that hurt your feelings, remember this stupid ass story from this stupid ass company. This has got to be the dumbest thing I have seen. You want to talk about how the fan needs healing. And it's, Jeremy, it's your responsibility to heal the fan base. It's your responsibility, Jeremy. And what was my stance? What was my stance? It is not my responsibility to do a damn thing in terms of the fandom. It is the company that owns this property. And now the fans are celebrating something that they love for the first time, universally loved under the Disney banner, and these dumbasses go and do this type of shit. Meaning, they don't deserve my respect. They don't deserve any respect as far as I'm concerned. If you want to respect them, you go right ahead and do that. But the dumb shit like this is why they will never get the benefit of the doubt from me. They are idiots. Bob Iger, Kathleen Kennedy, you're all dumbasses. You're all twat waffles. And I will continue to scream as loud as I want and as loud and as often as I want and as loud as I can and as often as I can, and I'm just going to continue to say things I can do just because it was it was working for me. But the point is, Disney doesn't deserve respect. Respect is earned, not given. And when you do shit like this, you don't deserve my respect. Fuck off, Disney.